Um, a therapeutic in intervention and it's also become very commercial um, and while, while I think there's many many benefits to be had um, from from mindfulness uh, the psychology uh, model of mindfulness um, I've just become aware of, of things that have irritated me about it but also shortcomings and um, that there's a shadow side to it that hasn't really been well enough explored mm. um, and the shadow side of it is to do with people being left to their own devices really um, being being left on their own or not not checked sufficiently attuned to checked in with um, and the evidence is, is mostly anecdotal at the moment, although there is a university study that I'll share with you um, about some, some pretty uh, disturbing side effects that people have experienced. Can I read a couple to you? Yeah. Just to well, kind of get us off. Get and, us off. and maybe as you're just kind of getting that ready as, and we're setting the context, maybe it'd be lovely to hear um, from colleagues are they using mindfulness? Ooh, Are they thinking great. about um, yeah, kind of straw poll? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and it does. Is this topic resonating with anyone? We're just getting started, oh, but like it is. <laughs> the benefits and also um, like what we have to think about. And you know, you're speaking to the title of our discussion here, aren't we? Like oh. two minds being better than one. How do we do this stuff together? Yeah, There's that. already a, a comment in the chat room, so thank you to a colleague for this. I'm so pleased to hear you say this, Sue. So, okay, so that's yeah, great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let, let's put that out to the group. It takes a little while for the audio to reach everyone and, um, and a little while for everybody to type. So, oh, that, uh, that comment is so soothing. Hmm. Um, uh, well, let me, and there's a follow-up to this comment, and I think this feels close to the kind of things that we'll be talking about. Um, say mindfulness is not a technique, and it can be dangerous if not done with guidance mm -hmm. and with someone with long-term experience. Yes, absolutely. Couldn't have put it better myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely. So that... Well, and that makes a difference to you, Sue, that you know, right, we're, here we are in the group, there's some resonating with this yes. topic around, like, is there there's lots of benefits that have been shown to mindfulness, but is there a, a shadow side, something to look out for here? Absolutely. I mean, when it comes to depression and recurrent depression, preventing recurrent depression, you know, mindfulness has really excellent results. Um, uh, and as you know, because we were talking earlier, um, people use mindfulness a lot to manage their emotional life, to manage their symptoms, which is absolutely wonderful. And some people don't want to go any any deeper than that. They don't want to do any more processing than that. Um, but the, the only trouble is, um, if, if something happens and they can't keep up their practice, then the disturbance, the trauma is only, you know, a hair's breadth away and it, and, it, and it comes to the surface again. So, yeah. so here we've got some pros and cons, I guess, in terms of a management tool. Very, yeah. very effective. It's excellent for that, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. And and I guess we will dig into this more in the conversation, like like maybe it's not getting to some of the trauma, some of the deeper things, mm -hmm. like they're still there, which might be the right thing for someone to not I, go there I, right I away. I like that you say maybe because I don't, I really don't want to generalise. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so I like, you know, I'd like to be a, a bit tentative about yes, it. Yes, yes, <laughs> lovely, lovely, and. I'd like to try to be a bit tense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, well, that, that's a good reminder for us both because we can both get right into staff and get carried away. Let's, but we're holding the whole picture here. Um, let me catch this other comment. Thank you to the group that's mm. typing away here. Terrific. We appreciate it. Um, 
I think mindfulness has many definitions and largely it's due fantastic. to different translations. Yes, it has. Yeah. Um, I've, I've analysed about 12 different ah, definitions okay. from mm -hmm. people like... Um, 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 I always get his name wrong. Nick Tan, the the the, the Vietnamese South Vietnamese monk who's been been mindful for decades, decades and decades. Um, John Kabat-Zinn, mm -hmm. um, Paul Gilbert. Um, I'm, I'm trying up a bit, but <clears throat> there's about 13 definitions that I looked at, and. <clears throat> the, the word that turns up most times, 35% of the time, is awareness. Second one is non-judgmental. Third one is practice. Um, they're, they're the three main significant um, elements of, uh, of mindfulness. So I, I, did a, I did a scan of, of them to try and distill, yeah. you know, all the definitions. 